Welcome. This is item number 49 from the released spring 2014 test items for Algebra 1 for a Tennessee end of course. So the question says, what is the solution to 2x over 3 minus 9 equals 5 over or plus x over 6? Now, there are a few things that you can do to get this uh, correct. One of the things that you might want to consider, you may not want to consider it either, is just to substitute the answers in and make sure one side is equal to the other. But kind of before I get to that, what I'd rather do is just do a little bit of minor combination work. It's not that hard to you know, sort of make it happen the way I want to. I'm going to convert this x over 6 into 1 6 x, just because it makes it easier on me. And then I'll convert this to 2 thirds x. This means the same thing, because really it would just be x over 1, and the x would go on top. So you can certainly do that. Minus 9 equals 5. So I'll go ahead and combine my x's. So to get rid of plus 1 sixth, I need to subtract 1 sixth. And depending on your calculator situation, uh, you may be able to just go ahead and type that in. Mine certainly could do it. If I have a TI-84+, plus, it makes it really easy. If you don't have one, I'll just do it by hand here in a second, but I just thought I'd throw this in there for the people who did. So there's a fraction menu, and one of the ways you can get to it is go to the green button alpha and then go to y equals, and it pops up. N over d is the fraction. So 2 over 3 minus 1 over 6. So I end up with 1 half x minus 9 equals 5. Add 9 to both sides. Those cancel, and I get 14. To get rid of 1 half, I need to, it's times 1 half because they're next to each other. Just because it has the fraction does not mean it's divided. It was divided up here. This would be 2x divided by 3, but you can treat it as 1 half times as well. So I'm going to divide by 1 half. And then to do that, if I'm doing it in the calculator, I'll do 14 divided by 1 over 2. Why wouldn't I? And I get x is equal to 28. Is that one of the answers? It would be nice if it is. And it is. So the answer is D. Can you check your answers? Yes. And by the way, I said that I would do this for those of you who don't have calculators. So I'll do that here really fast, and then I'll get back to uh, checking my answer. So to do 2 thirds and 1 sixth, I need to have a common denominator, which is 6. I need to do 3 times 2, so 2 times 2. 4 sixths minus 1 sixth is equal to 3 sixths, which is 1 half x, just like I said. And then I do this part, end up with 1 half x equals 14. I need to divide by 1 half. So I'm going to use what I learned when I did some stuff with, uh, like when I worked with some 6th grade classrooms. Um, so 14 over 1. So I'm going to use keep it, flip it, switch it to divide by a fraction. I keep the first one, flip the second one, switch to multiply. 4 times 2 is 28 over 1 times 1, which is 1. So my answer is 28. So don't need a calculator to do this question, but it is available for you if you want it. Now, the other side of it is, of course, you could use substitution because that's what it's for. I would guess that most people would start at C and D because you don't want to type in fractions, which can't say that I blame you, but uh, that's just how it goes. So I'll do 2 times 28. Since we already know it's this answer, I'm just going to show you, show you how I would do it when I worked it. Minus 9. And before the equal sign, I'm going to hit Enter because that's what one half of that equation is supposed to look like. The other side should look like that as well. So 5 plus 28 over 3. And I'm crossing my fingers right now that it's 29 over 3, and it's not. Whoa. Oh, because I'm a doofus and I divided by 6. I've been working on these way too long. So at least it seemed like a good idea at the time. But it just goes to show you how easy it is to make a careless mistake. So you'll know, I didn't make very many mistakes when I was working out longhand. 
but I did here. So I was trying to get 29 over 3, and I did get 29 over 3. I was getting sort of excited about the idea that it was almost over, and I typed in a 3 instead of a 6. So be very careful. Uh, the answers when you work out comes to be 28. So you could have done that from the beginning. As you could see, for me, it was made more sense to not do it that way and just to solve it. But uh, choose your own adventure and pick your own path.